In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to turn off double opt-in inside Fluent CRM and explain why you probably shouldn't turn it off. Coming up. Hey, my name is Marlon from MarlonMcPherson.com and I do content like this to help you build and grow your business around your knowledge and expertise online including things like looking after your website strategy, your content and your email marketing so you can convert more leads into sales. Now, in case you don't know, double opt-in is when someone signs up on your website by filling out a form to say they want to actually get something free from you like a lead magnet and they expect to get the email to deliver it. You then send them or an automated email gets sent to say, hey, can you click this link or click this button to confirm your email list subscription before we can then send you emails. If they don't do that click, they won't get your emails. So they're opting in by filling out the form, that's the first one. And then the second layer is by them clicking that link in the email that they get uh, before they get the rest of the emails. So that is double opt-in as opposed to single opt-in where once they fill out that form, they actually get subscribed immediately on your email list and you can start emailing them. Now, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you probably don't wanna go to single opt-in. You wanna keep your double opt-in switched on. And after that, if you still decide to use single opt-in as opposed to double opt-in, it's completely up to you. That's your choice. So the first reason why you probably wanna keep your double opt-in switched on is because of bad or incorrect email addresses. Sometimes people are filling out the form and they might have changed something by accident inside the email address. So then the email is invalid, it's not correct. So you can't actually send emails out to it. You do try and send emails, but it bounces. And this can affect your email sending reputation. And you wanna keep your email list high quality. So you wanna make sure you have valid email addresses on your list. So that's reason number one. The second reason is because people might mark your email as spam. Sometimes people sign up and they forget that they've done that. And if they haven't actually gone through that process of double opting in, it doesn't register. So they see your emails coming through and they're wondering, why am I getting these emails? They'll probably just by default, just go ahead and click the spam link to say, hey, this is a spam email. Then your email reputation again plummets. That's not good. You can't then get into the inbox of other people um, who actually want to actually receive your emails. The third reason is because it protects you against spam bots. So you have these bots that's going around filling out forms. And if there's a spam bot that goes to your website and fills out that form to sign up for your email list, it's not gonna get through and become confirmed on your list because they can't confirm that email once that comes through, right? So it protects you against spam bots. And this could be a big problem if you have single opt-in because all of those requests or those um, fake signups get sent to your email list and that's not good for anyone. Now, this is a big one. The fourth reason you probably don't wanna do this is because you'd be in breach of privacy laws, especially with GDPR in place. That is a requirement for you to have double opt-in. People need to opt in and confirm that they wanna opt in a second time round before you can legally send them marketing emails. And that's what GDPR stipulates. So if you send emails out to people in Europe that is covered by GDPR, you could be in problems. The fifth reason why you'd wanna keep your double opt-in switched on is because you have a more engaged list of subscribers. These are the people that are most likely going to open up your emails, they're going to click your links, and they're much more likely to buy your products or services. I much rather have a list of engaged people than people that don't want to be on my list and that's a big, big reason right there. So now that you've heard my reasons why you wanna keep your double opt-in on, if you wanna go ahead and still switch it off, here's where you find it inside Fluent CRM. So here I am on a test website and I'm inside my Fluent CRM menu here and what you wanna do is go down to forms because where you control it is gonna be at the forms level. Now, of course, Fluent CRM is actually using Fluent Forms to create the opt-in forms. And um, you have an option when you create a new form to actually check a little box that says enable or disable double opt-in. And this is where you would actually check it on if you're setting up a new um, form or turn it off if you don't want it to be uh, active. Um, but if you have a form set up, this is where you would go and turn it off on that form. So I have a form here. And what you wanna do is come over to where it says actions just here and come down to the edit integration settings. When you click that, it's going to take you to the 
um, settings and integrations tab here inside Fluent Forms for that particular form. Um, you want to come down to the bottom section of here and you will have this checkbox that says enable or disable double opt-in or enable double opt-in. If you check it on, obviously it will be enabled. If you turn it off, um, it will be disabled and then they won't actually get that email to confirm. It will confirm them straight away once they've filled out the form. So if you want it off, make sure this is checked off. Go ahead and save the feed settings by just clicking there. You obviously will get that confirmation um, message to say it successfully has um, saved to the integration. And of course, this integration is referring to the Fluent Forms integration. Now, you could go directly to the form by going to Fluent Forms and um, go into, into the settings on that particular form. Again, make sure you're under the Settings and Integrations tab. You want to come down to where it says Configure Integrations just here, and it will load up all form integrations you want to click this little cog icon and it will bring you to that setting here that i showed you earlier where you can toggle it on and off so that's how you can switch it on and off now if you're struggling with setting up your fluent crm or your email marketing strategy there are a number of ways that i can help you do that just head over to my website marlonmacpherson.com and check out some of the resources and some of the information that i have there on how i can help you in the meantime though, watch this video that I've got linked on screen or inside the description of this video. It's going to go through some of the basic things that you need to do when you're setting up Fluent CRM. I give you some of my best tips in that video and I'll catch you in that one.